Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning on how to create a collage in Photoshop. Go ahead and open up whatever image that you're going to want to use. Today I chose the image of my daughter. She was about six months old here. Um, she's about two and a half years old now. Uh, they grow up just super fast. I love this picture. She's so cute in it. If your image comes with a locked layer, go ahead and press Ctrl J and that will put it on a new layer then delete the locked layer. Now create a new layer, come over to the paint bucket tool and fill this in with black. Now drag this black layer below the image layer, select your image layer, then select the rectangle tool and select an area that you're going to want in your collage. Then right click on this rectangle and rasterize the layer. Right click again, create clipping mask. Right click one more time and do duplicate layer. Then we're gonna call this layer white rectangle and press okay. Then this other layer below it, we're gonna call this one black rectangle. Now select your white rectangle layer, right click on it, and do blending options. Then choose color overlay and select this box right here beside normal. And choose the color white, press OK, press OK. Then drag this white layer below the black rectangle layer. Then over here, you're going to want to do Edit, Transform, Scale. Then select the Alt button key and scale it. Scale it to however you would like. By selecting the Alt, that means that all the edges are get scaled the same way. Now unselect Alt and I'm going to make this part just a little bit bigger. Alright, now click on the Move tool and press Apply. Now drag your image layer all the way to the top. Right click and do Create Clipping Mask. Whoa, pretty cool, huh? Alright, now select the black layer and shift select the white layer. Now you can move this all around. Pretty cool, huh? Let's close this. Alright, I'm going to add a couple of pictures here so you kind of get the feel of what this looks like. Let's go ahead and move this picture back here. If you select just on the image, you can move the picture. Alright, let's. Um, you're going to choose your picture layer your black rectangle layer and your white rectangle layer. Do shift and select them all. Then right click and do duplicate layers. Press OK. Then select your black and white layer and you can move and make another one. Or what you can do is you can open another image. Let's see, let's choose this one. I love this one of her open it up. It's on a locked image so do control J delete that layer and drag this new picture over here. I'm just gonna hide that and you have two pictures kind of cool, huh? Let's move this over here and we'll, then we'll move this image over here and it's kind of too big so we'll scale it. We'll do edit, transform, scale, shift and we'll scale it down a little bit.
All right, let's do one more picture. Right click, duplicate layer, press OK. And then just grab the black and white rectangle layer and scoot it over. Then let's open up one more image. Control J. We'll drag this image over here. Oh my goodness, it already looks so cute. <laughs> And there you have it. You have your just very cute collage right there. And that's pretty much how you do it. You can create whatever you want in that image. Now, I've come across some really awesome tutorials. I mention this in just about every video I make because I really love these tutorials. Um, I'll have a link for them down in my description. And there will also be a link for it that will come up in this video. Go ahead and click on that link and it will lead you to more tutorials. Um, I'll just show you a few of them that I really like. This one's cool. It shows a really cool smoke and lighting effect. Um, this one's cool. It's going to show you how to do some really good photography photos and make transform them into kind of like a Sons of Anarchy black and white photo. Um, you have your grunge photo that you can create. You can make a photo into a fairy tale story like. Um, there's hours and hours of video footage in these tutorials. There's also um, any type of plugin or font that you would need to create these images. Um, it's all back there. So go ahead and click on the link, check it out. And if you did like this video, go ahead and like my page, sub subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope to see you back on the next video.